Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'll be sharing a story with you. The movie begins with two sisters at home. While exercising, Mari, the younger sister, tells her older sister, Yuma, that she has been selected to attend a job which require her to stay over at a facility for a week. Yuma, who is shocked by such a weird job offer, asks her more about it. Mari tells her sister that the company is offering 100,000 yen for an experiment they are trying to conduct. She then takes out her phone and shows her sister the ad. The ad further adds that participants must stay the entire week or else they will not get the money. Yuma, who is concerned, questions her sister if she will be able to handle being away from home for so long, as she's pretty spoiled in the house. Just then, Yuma's husband comes home, and she tells her husband about Mari's inability to last in the job. Mari gets upset that her sister doesn't believe in her, so she leaves angrily. In the next scene, we see all participants placed in a facility that looks like a prison. Everyone starts introducing themselves to the camera. The first participant introduces herself as Kamiyama. The second is a businessman named Koki, who has a shop that sells eyeglasses. The third person is a retired military soldier who named himself M16. Next is a young girl named Gumi, who is a social media influencer. And next is a mentally unsound man named Yamane. The sixth participant, H, then introduces himself, followed by Gure, who tells everyone he will try his best. Next, a woman named Getsuyo introduces herself as a travel tour guide. The ninth person, Meso, is a violinist, and the tenth is a man called Goethe. Next is Mari herself, who is a high school student, and lastly is Jayon. As the participants wander around the facility, they find handcuffs, a jail cell, torchlights, prisoners, and officers' clothes. Suddenly, the announcer of the experiment asks half of them to put on prisoners' uniform, while the other half to wear the officers' ones. The officers are then asked to open the doors of the jail cell and put the prisoners inside. Soon, Jae Yeon, who has a happy and carefree personality, starts pretending to be innocent of her crimes as she calls out to be released from prison. This makes everyone in the prison cell laugh, and they soon have a good time being held captive. Not long, the announcer of the experiment tells them it's lunchtime, so the prisoners start chanting for their food. The officers, irritated by their constant chants, delivers their food over. When the prisoners receive their food, they start complaining about how bad it is. Suddenly, Meso, who can't stand how terrible the food is, decides to quit the experiment. She tells the camera that she wants to leave, and the announcer agrees to it. So Mari, who is an officer, releases her. Meso then takes her luggage and leaves. Moments later, the officers eat their lunch, where they are served steak and fresh food. This causes the prisoners to get envious of their nice food. But the officers ignore them as the experiment doesn't allow them to share their food with the prisoners. As they are having lunch, the officers decide to appoint a leader in their group. A voting then takes place for either Goethe or M16 to be their leader. Due to an extra vote on his side, Goethe ends up being the appointed leader. He begins his appointment by creating shift work for all the officers. For mealtimes, showers, and waking up of the prisoners, all officers must be present for duty. For every other tasks, officers will be split into teams of two, where they will work in three-hour shift periods. Suddenly, Koki, one of the prisoners, asks them if he can go to the bathroom. However, none of the officers respond to him as they do not want to stop having their meal. But Mari, who is the kindest of the group, volunteers to take Koki to the toilet. But as she is walking towards him, Goethe stops her and tells Koki that a female officer bringing a male prisoner to the bathroom is inappropriate. So he creates a new rule where only male officers can bring male prisoners to the toilet and female officers for the female prisoners. With this new rule, M16 unwillingly volunteered to help Koki. However, before they release him to the bathroom, M16 and H ties Koki up and leashes him like a dog as M16 escorts him to the toilet. Soon, night falls and everyone goes to sleep. The next day, day two, the announcer irritatingly wakes everyone up. The prisoners who had to sleep on the cold hard floor gets jealous that the officers get to sleep on nice beds and start complaining a little. 
Later on, M16 can be seen escorting Yamane in the toilet. However, Yamane disgusts him by showing him his number 2 process, causing M16 to leave. After his business, Yamane comes back out alone and starts telling Mari about his number 2. But M16, who is irritated by him, violently pushes him into cell, causing him to fall. Gure sees this and throws his blanket at the cell door. He confronts M16 for using unnecessary violent on his cellmate. But due to him being in a cell, Gure is unable to do anything about it, while M16 taunts him from the outside. Getsuyo then tries to calm him down and reminds him about the 100,000 yen cash money at the end of the experiment. Later that night, the announcer irritatingly tells everyone to go to sleep so the prisoners unwillingly prepares for it. While Mari is sleeping, Kamiyama knocks on her room and go to find her to let her know about her shift change, so she heads down. But she soon realizes that H isn't around with her for their night duty. Just then, M16 finds her and tells her that H doesn't want to get up for his shift and tells her to do the shift alone. But Mari is worried that a male prisoner might want to go to the bathroom under her watch, so M16 goes to try wake H up again. But as he leaves, Yamane tells Mari that he wants to go to the bathroom urgently, so with no choice, she quickly takes the keys and handcuffs Yamane, but tells her that he urgently needs the toilet and tells her to skip the handcuffs and procedure. So Mari lets him out without handcuffs and he runs to the toilet. However, he then returns telling her that he has lied and starts approaching her. M16, who sees this, tells Yamane to go back into the cell, but he tells him that he is restless in it and wants to walk around for a while. But M16 doesn't like this, so he tackles him to the ground, waking everyone in the process. Soon, the lights come on and Yamane can be seen victorious. Turns out Yamane knows how to fight and wanted revenge against M16 for pushing him earlier in the day. Day 3 comes along and Goethe can be seen scolding H, Mari and M16 for their bad handling of the prisoners last night. He then comes up with the new rules, where the first rule is that prisoners and officers are not allowed to communicate with each other at all times except for toilet breaks and mealtimes. The second is prisoners are only allowed to speak to officers with respect and proper commands. The last new rule is that if any one of the rules are broken, that prisoners will be punished by the officers. But just then, Yamane takes one of the officers' headset and starts taunting the officers. Goethe then comes up with the torture plan and decide to ignore every request from Yamane to teach him a lesson. As hours pass, Yamane starts having bad stomach aches for holding his bladder for too long. He begs the officers to take back the headset and let him go to the bathroom. Gumi then takes back her headset but tells him to beg her nicely before she allows him to the toilet. After much begging, Goethe finally allows him to go. However, as they are heading to the bathroom, Yamane gets pulled on the leash and ends up falling and goes number two in the process. So the officers force him to clean his mess up and tortures him along the way. Mari tries to stop the officers from torturing him any further, but they ignore her. Back in her room, Mari can be seen traumatized by everything, but just then, Goethe goes to find her. He scolds her for always not listening to his orders and warns her that if she continues to disobey him, he will make her a prisoner too. With no choice, she promises to follow his every command from now on. The next morning, day 4, the officers tell the prisoners that it is shower time. So the prisoners take turns to ask individual officers to escort them to take a bath. Getsuyo asks Mari for a shower, so she agrees to it after Goethe gives her permission. While Getsuyo takes a shower, she breaks one of the rules when she starts gossiping about Goethe. However, Mari, who doesn't see Goethe coming into the bathroom, overhears everything and goes to cuff up Getsuyo in the midst of her shower and leaves her unclothed for hours. After Getsuyo is finally set free, she tries to attack Goethe for his evil punishment, but M16 grabs hold of her and puts her back in the cell. Just then, Jayon asks Mari to go to the bathroom, but Mari, who has had enough, decides to quit the experiment. However, Goethe doesn't allow her to, so she runs back to her room and starts screaming for his sister to save her. After she calms herself down, she runs out of her room and to the keys and quickly unlocks the cell. She asks everyone to escape, but only Gure does so. M16 and H sees this, so they end up tying both Gure and Mari up as they wait for Goethe to arrive. When he does, he announces that Mari is now a prisoner and she gets cuffed up and tortured in an awkward lying position together with Gure. 
Kamiyama takes pity on Mari and asks their leader to let her go, but he doesn't, and they leave the two on the ground for the night. Day 5 comes around, where Mari and Gure can be seen led back into the cell. However, Mari ends up breaking a rule by disrespecting Gumi. So an angry Gumi requests an additional rule where now all prisoners have to beg together on their knees and bow for everything they want. In the next scene, all the prisoners except Gure can be seen begging Gumi for their meals. As they are begging, Gumi gets upset that Gure isn't doing the same, so the rest forces him to beg. This makes her happy and she allows for their meals to be sent in. While eating, Goethe, who is now seem to be less authoritative, asks everyone if they would allow Mari to be an officer again, as they require a female officer to have equal shift work for everyone. But Gumi, who is somehow seen as their new leader, rejects his proposal and asks for Jayon to be an officer instead, which everyone agrees. They then release Jayon and gives her officer clothes to wear. She thanks them and begins abusing her power. Later, Kamiyama takes Mari to shower, but as she unlocks her cuffs, Kamiyama starts confessing her feelings for her and tries to get frisky with her, but Mari pushes her away and rejects her advances. This makes Kamiyama sad as she begs for Mari's love. Meanwhile, Koki asks to go to the toilet, but when they open the gate for him, Gure takes the chance and escapes the cell. Koki and Gure then attacks an officer each, with Gure managing to unlock his cuffs. He quickly goes to find Mari and takes her away. However, when they head back outside, everyone is shocked to find out that M16 and Kamiyama had accidentally murdered Koki in the midst of his struggles. Mari sees this and gets devastated by it. Gure quickly goes to one of the cameras and asks the announcer to shut the experiment down. However, M16 tells them they can't as he is afraid that he might get arrested for murder. Soon, Gumi, who realizes the experiment has gone too far, tries to escape, but M16 gets a hold of her and tells everyone to calm down. Everyone soon goes crazy and immediately shouts for the organizers of the experiment to stop the madness. But suddenly, Mari realizes that the person behind everything is actually H and exposes his identity to everyone. She tells everyone that H was the only one who always isn't around each time when the announcer speaks. Realizing his identity has been exposed, he reveals to everyone that he is the mastermind behind everything and tells everyone that Koki's passing is unfortunate. He then informs everyone that they will all be going home except for M16, who had accidentally murdered Gumi. A shocked M16, who had realized he has accidentally eliminated Gumi with his grip, tells everyone that it was an accident, but suddenly the lights go out and everyone gets knocked out. When the lights come back on, they realized that H has been murdered and they are still trapped in the facility. Soon everyone starts going mad and they all start fighting with each other. But just before they all get too violent, Yuma, Mari's sister, comes through the door and saves them all. Yuma tells Mari that she is no longer a spoiled child and is now a strong woman. Later, police arrive and start their investigation. Realizing H is not the real mastermind behind everything, Yuma asks her sister who she thinks the mastermind is. The movie then ends with Mari revealing that she is the mastermind. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you do not miss our next video.